Jones. I'm the editor at Plus Model Magazine, and this is Modeling 101. Today we're going to be discussing two things, size and tattoos. So the first thing we're going to talk about is size. Why do you have to be a certain size? Why do you have to be a certain height? And I know that what I'm going to say is not going to be very nice to some of you, but this is the honest truth as I know from being someone that's in the industry for 15 years. Now, um, when you go to work for a brand, they're probably going to have anywhere between 10, 15 to 60 items for you to shoot on that particular day if you're working for e-com. So they're not going to have time to taper or to cut and sew 60 items or 25 items because everything is done on a schedule. So that's why they have a certain size standard and a certain height standard so that you can just fit the clothing, the samples. So you have to be a sample size. You can go in, put the clothes on, shoot, move on to the next. Sometimes you don't even get to get off set to change. You have to change right on set, right in front of everybody. Maybe maybe they'll turn around so they don't look at you while you're changing. But you know, it's a very quick turnaround. You know, time is money. So that's one of the main reasons because of sample size and because they don't have the time or money to spend to alter things for you. Now, are there exceptions? Absolutely. There's many exceptions. So if a brand wants to work with someone badly enough, there are models out there and industry people that want, you want to work with, they will absolutely make sure, but they also have to order that size for that model or that blogger. So it's not like, well, they're using her, so why can't they use me? It's not that simple. They're using her because she has amazing social media numbers, because she has a name. That's why they're using her. They're just not using using you, you know, because they don't want your size. It's because it's an industry and this is all about money, making money and making sure that it makes sense. Their photo shoots, their budget for their photo shoots are amazing. They're huge budget. So they want to make sure that they're getting the most for their money. So that's the height and the size issue. The next issue is tattoos. You see a lot of bloggers, um, you know, sporting their tattoos and some models sporting their tattoos and some of them probably got their tattoos before they decided to be models. Um, and I'm going to tell you, yes, there are exceptions, many exceptions, and I won't mention names, but there are exceptions to the rule of models that have a lot of tattoos. But is it what clients are looking for? If you want to work with brands on a regular basis, that's going to take them a lot of time and a lot of money to erase those tattoos in post-production. So if you're an aspiring model and you're thinking about getting a tattoo or multiple tattoos or piercings, make sure that no one can see them. Make sure that, you know, if you're not going to be doing lingerie or anything like that, that you don't see where those tattoos are because that will definitely cut the amount of clients that you will potentially book because they don't want to spend the money. They want to do as minimal Photoshop as possible and put your pictures up on their website. So I hope that you're not too upset, but there's always exceptions to the rule. This is what's happening in the industry. The industry is definitely opening up its door to more diversity. So will we see more tattoos? Absolutely. But in, if you have not gotten the tattoos and if you are not 5'9", don't despair because things are changing and think that you can always develop your own personal brand so that you could be one of those people that they want to work with and it doesn't have to be a sample size. So I hope that this has been helpful and definitely we will be back.